imagining it? Or do we have a moment to breathe? <laughs> I can scarcely believe it. The Conclave, Haven. It seems so long ago. You should hear the stories they're telling in the barracks. The pride in their voices. Some of the soldiers have requested leave to return home, but many would follow us still. You are proof that the Inquisition has made a difference, and that we will continue to do so. Our soldiers put their trust in you, Cullen. I appreciate everything you've done. I should be thanking you. You gave me a chance to... to prove myself. In your place, I'm not sure I would have done the same. I should let you mingle. I'm sure everyone desires your attention. Enjoy the party, Inquisitor. So now that you've saved the world, what's next? Hoping to put it all back together? Someone has to fix things. Might as well be me. If anyone can do it, you can. If you ever need my help, you know where to find me. I'll be ready. I've been starting to think about putting all this into a book. Right now I'm thinking, this shit is weird, the Inquisitor Lavellan story. It's a working title. I'm glad you've gone back to writing. Well, nothing certain until it's in print. I still haven't decided if I should do this book. As if anyone will believe this story if I tell it. Not to mention, I'll have my hands full with reconstruction and relief efforts in the free marches as soon as I get back. The Inquisition could still use you here. That's generous of you, but it's past time that I went back and took care of things in Kirkwall. I'm not leaving for a while yet, though. We'll have to get in at least one game of Wicked Grace before I go. Curly needs to win back some of his dignity. So, demons, dragons, giant asshole vint on a big magic rock. You don't let it get dull, boss. Good stuff. How is that good in any way, Bull? We all walked away. Chantry folk are picking up what's left of Corypheus with a dustpan and a pastry scraper. It's weird. I joined the Inquisition under orders from the Ben Hasrath and stayed because Corypheus was an asshole. Now that it's done, I've got no orders. For the first time in my life, I can go wherever I want. You know I'll find you the best fights. I know, I know. Anyway, the only place I'm going tonight is back for more drinks. To us being alive, and the bad guys not. Ah, Anan. Thank you for finding the amulet and making it work. I felt him try and fail before we beat him. He would have made me a monster. But instead, he's dead. And I'm free. More than that, we stopped Corypheus from destroying the world. That's good, too. I, I think I could return to the Fade if I tried. I'm light enough to slip through. But I'd like to stay and help for a while, if that's all right. I can still help people here. It will be interesting to see what comes next. Because of you. Thank you for letting me stay. Finally got a party, yeah? A bit of fun for saving the world. It's the least Andraste's Herald deserves for making things normal again. Except for, you know, everything ever again. I mean, is this for us or for her? Or, you know, him? Because I was there and I still don't know what's real. We did this. There's nothing mysterious about how hard it was to save ourselves. I suppose. Feels weird, though. 
Nothing out there. I guess you'd know by this point. Seems like you did it right, mostly. Still some things to do yet, right? Because I'm in no hurry to go back to... Val Royale. That's where I was. You mind if people still stay around? Or whatever? This is home, if you'll have it. <laughs> Shut it, you. I cry. I'm punching everyone. All right, enough of that. Is this a party or what? Raise them for winning. Big freaking heroes, Inquisitor. All of us. I was passing through the hall this morning and a serving girl saw me and squealed. Actually squealed, dropped her laundry and everything. Such a mess. She was completely breathless. You were at the battle with the evil one, weren't you? I didn't even get a chance to answer. She hugged me. Hugged me. This is your influence. Admit it, you're having a ball. <laughs> I don't trust camaraderie, all these people smiling, buying me drinks. It's unnatural. Mind you, I can't say I hate the notion of being the good to Vinter. I suppose you can't all be evil bastards. The blacksmith said that, and he spat when we first met. I hope my father hears. He will shit his small clothes from shock, I swear. You're an example of how noble Tevinter could be. For southerners, maybe. Back home, they'll be rolling their eyes behind their fans. Meanwhile, they'll conveniently forget the bastards who wanted Corypheus ruling us all. I've decided to stay with the Inquisition. For now. You will? Tevinter lacks the presence of my best and only friend. It'll keep. I can't believe it's over. It seemed an impossible task. Defy the Chantry? Build the Inquisition from nothing? Defeat a creature that would be a god? And yet here we are, celebrating. So we should be. Defeating Corypheus was no simple task. He was so confident of his power, he could not conceive of losing. If he could, he would never have challenged me. And he would have gone into hiding. Yes. It worked out far better this way. I intend to rebuild the Seekers of Truth. To make us the order we were meant to be. That will take time. Meanwhile, I am free to remain with the Inquisition. I think back to how we first met. And here you stand. You are not a believer, I know. Yet you have come to mean so much to us all. Despite all my doubts, despite everything, you proved to be exactly what we needed. Enjoying the refreshments? Josephine sent all the way to the capital for the Petit Four. I love tiny cakes, and there are so many. Which should I try first? I would avoid the dark ones topped with gold dust. Deep mushroom and anise. An awful combination, but it's quite popular in Val Royale. I believe they call it the exquisite misery. Ole. Why did we save her again? To you, Inquisitor, for all you've done. So much to do, my dear. I'll be returning to Val Royale to organize the Loyalist Mages. Our new Emperor requires my expertise during what is certain to be a difficult transition. But that will wait. Are you enjoying the celebration? Josephine was in a frenzy arranging it. As a matter of fact, I am. And well, you should. It's a miracle we survived this ordeal. Go mingle. The night is still young. Ugh, I should never have hired a new caterer so late. Leave it be, Josie. Everything's fine. It is not! I'm so sorry. Nothing's quite as it should be. Oh, do you like the drinks? I'm not sure about them. If you don't pause for a moment, your heart is going to stop. At least I'd be spared another incident. What a disaster. So my food is late, the invitations to our guests barely went out at all, and... and... it was so wonderful to prepare for a small banquet instead of the end of the world. Do you know what everyone is talking about tonight, from commoners to kings? Us. Tedas is discussing the success of the Inquisition. 
You played no small part in our rise to power. <laughs> you had a role yourself, if I recall correctly. Truly, we will never forget those we lost. But for tonight, to victory. It is said that Corypheus woke after his long slumber and found the world gone awry. He fought to bring back those days of magic and shadow, to raise himself as a god and set things right. Now, we are left with a scar in the sky to remind us of what almost was. It tells us that a great victory against Chaos was won, but left the world forever changed. Consider the mighty empire of Orlay, where Gaspar has ascended to the Golden Throne. His rule continues only so long as he bows to the will of Briana, the first elf to be granted titles and land. Soon, new rights are granted to elves throughout the land. Plans are made to tear down alienage walls. The Emperor chafes under her command, but can do nothing. Even as an alliance of nobles considers open rebellion, they hesitate only because they fear the alliance between Briala and the Elven Inquisitor, and perhaps also because they yet respect the Inquisition. For now, the Empire remains at peace. Those Grey Wardens who survived the Battle at Adamant ventured north into exile. They returned to the mighty fortress of Weishaupt, and word slowly spreads that a battle for control of the Order has erupted. It is said that Alastair leads these Wardens in their rebellion, a fight to change the Order from within. Slowly, the Wardens withdraw from across the North as well. Some believe the ancient Order is on the verge of vanishing forever. One month after the defeat of Corypheus, the Chantry names Leliana as successor to the Sunburst Throne. Given the name Divine Victoria, she first declares an end to the Circle of Magi. The Mages will now govern themselves. She opens the priesthood to other races, declares support for the Inquisition, and rededicates the Chantry to the principle of charity. Divine Victoria is controversial from the start. Several new sects arise, resisting her reforms and declaring her rule a threat to the faith. Her response is as swift as it is deadly. Unity is maintained, but blood runs through the halls of the Grand Cathedral. The Inquisition's mages, the former rebels led by Grand Enchanter Fiona, are left with a choice. When Leliana disbands the circles, they leave the Inquisition and reform the College of Enchanters as a new order. The College, they say, will allow Mages of the South to gather in peace and seek new solutions to age-old problems. For the moment, it appears to be working. Mages are enjoying unprecedented acceptance throughout Thedas. And what of the Inquisition itself? It has eyes and ears in every hall. No secrets are beyond its reach. And that knowledge has become the source of its power. 
I leave Skyhold now, knowing that power will continue to grow. The Inquisitor is a symbol to many, a leader of the changing world order. To others, she has become a target. They linger in the shadows, waiting for their day to come. When it does, the Inquisition shall stand ready.